Welcome everybody. We um, we actually had our, our first scrimmage uh, since before Temple. Um, in fact, I guess the, the Temple game would be the last game type situation we've had. Obviously, everybody missed spring. Uh, so this was, uh, um, it was fun. Uh, a lot of our guys are young and they hadn't even been in the stadium before for, for a practice like this and a scrimmage. Um, so we, we felt like we got a lot out of it. The, um, um, it was new and different in that you, you have to think about what COVID is going to do for a ball game. So uh, number one, we're, we're anticipating a very few fans in the stands or none for our opening game with Syracuse. So we, we actually told the guys to look up and this is kind of what the crowd's going to look like or probably what it is. We tried to play crowd noise. We tried to play music. We, uh, we're, we're going to try to get whoever will, who, who's in charge of doing our sound for the games um, in the stadium for our scrimmage on Saturday uh, so they will be able to show our players exactly what crowd noise means and, and um, who, who controls it and what they're going to do with it because obviously it's, it's all different. Um, the coaches were wearing masks the entire time. The officials were wearing masks. Uh, the officials have a handheld whistle uh, that's really unique because they don't want to be putting it in their mouth and pulling it back out. Um, I don't know whether the official will be able to take his mask off to announce the penalty or if he'll just do it through his mask. Uh, I would think he'll probably keep his mask on. Uh, when our guys were coming to the sideline, we took all the benches off the sideline and we put chairs. Uh, the defense had theirs in a semicircle because they, uh, Jay Bateman thought he could see the, the faces of the players better and they're still social distancing. The offense wanted them um, just uh, in, in a, a line all the way across, um, but we just did it the way that the, uh, the coaches wanted to do it. When each player came off of the field, he had his fluids, whether it was Gatorade or water, in his seat. Uh, waiting on him, and also um, they were all required to wear a mask. So there's either a mask sitting in their chair, uh, or now we've we've even found some that are um, they're just masks that you can throw away. But you you hand it to the player, he sticks it on his face while he's on the sideline. He strips it off and and throws it away as he gets ready to go back. So uh, it was different. It was unique, uh, but at the same time, it's still football. And when you get out on the field, it's, it's uh, the same stuff that, that we're used to. Um, special teams was inconsistent, which is usually expected for a first scrimmage. Uh, so we've got to get better in that area. Uh, offense was also inconsistent. Uh, there were some big plays, but there, there weren't a lot of consistent drives. Um, and as you would expect in a first scrimmage, the, the defense uh, was better uh, and more consistent than the offense. Um, it's funny, the offensive coaches say, well, they've been watching our plays, man, for two years. And I said, yeah, well, that same way everywhere. So don't change it. And there's, there's no game plan. And uh, so there's some good plays, bad plays, but that's, that's part of a, an opening scrimmage. So we'll practice tomorrow. Uh, we, we gave them off today. Uh, we'll practice tomorrow. We'll, we'll scrimmage again on Saturday. And um, that, that'll be the, the last really big scrimmage before we get ready to play Syracuse. Uh, I do think from everything I'm hearing, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling more like we're going to play right now than ever before. Uh, they're talking about game times with TV. They're, they're, they're talking about, uh, uh, like the officials said yesterday, they've already got the assignments for their first four ball games. Um, seeing the NC State game being moved um, uh, is a, a, a positive that people are still trying to make this craziness work out so we can play. Uh, so I do think for our players and our coaches, uh, this is really the first time everybody feels like that we're getting this close to playing and, and, and this is really going to happen. So uh, they're, they're talking about testing three times a week. Um, the tests are not very much fun, uh, but uh, that's something that I, I think will be decided here soon by the, the medical group from the ACC. And I think from what I hear, that would be testing on Monday, testing on Wednesday, and then an outside group testing you on Friday um, but before the ball game. Um, so, uh Spectacular Magazine, we on the scene.